Howdy everybody, how are we doing tonight? Hopefully we're all doing well. Welcome back to Pleasant View Farms, Alma, Missouri, Own the Map Edition. We got already, we got pickaxe in here. Sickbert, how are you doing tonight? Kenworth guy. Welcome in you guys. Thanks for being here, nice and early. We started a little early sometimes. Hopefully you guys are all having a uh, good day. Pickaxe, nice looking semi, or a uh, dump truck there you had in the Discord. Looks pretty slick. We got Jay Swizzle Graham coming in. How you doing? Friday night party? Heck yeah, let's have a party up in here. Harvesting corn? Yeah, we're going to get into harvesting some corn. We got a lot of things to do. We got haze to bale. I think we might just chisel this corner here because we got that big alfalfa field to bale we've got that field mowed down it needs tedded and raked and I think I got the cows pretty much taken care of yeah yep so hopefully we can maybe kind of stay away from them for a while we also got to go talk to Miss Betty Lou tonight. We got some, as you can see, we're down to about 600 million or 600,000. Uh, we did strike, uh, strike a deal with her. So we'll have to go over there yet tonight and uh, just check out all that's going on over there. There's Lego, my Diego, Ego. How you doing, buddy? Pickaxe, it's pretty cool. I'm debating if I want one or not. May stay in the old Kenworth. Sometimes ain't so bad staying old, but sometimes I can understand upgrading. Pickaxe. There's Scooty Pooty. He's saying yo yo yo. We got Waylon in the house. He's gonna be here till bedtime. And then we all gotta say goodnight to him. That's our Friday night little treat for him. We're all gonna tuck him into bed. We got Simulation Station finally making it. I'm out and about, but I'll be back later. Okay, no worries. We'll be here for a while, hopefully. We got No coming in with a hello. How are you tonight, No? So we actually have a lot of chiseling here yet to do. Uh, did end up getting this all covered in manure. If you see here on our nitrogen map, we got her all nice and covered in some liquid manure so we're just trying to get that all chiseled in we are working it at a nice strong angle I'm not sure what we're gonna do with this other field if we're gonna leave or you know I got alfalfa over there if I'm going to tear it up make another big hay field somewhere just unsure at this point we got Midwest Farmer coming in with the, hey boys, how are we doing tonight Midwest? Did you end up streaming or did you end up cooking dinner? Uh, we end up just having a pizza. So not much cooking. Yeah, we struck up a, let me turn the corner here. We did strike up a deal with uh, my Aunt Betty Lou. We got the... Her husband, Bob, he just passed away not too long ago. Um, so we ended up buying... Right now, we bought the home farm. Her farm, I should say. Um, so we will be taking a drive over there and taking a look at what we ended up buying. And some maybe purchases of what we might be buying as well. Kenworth guy says I have way too much corn. We got a bunch of corn. Uh, we've shelled. I did get the big field all shelled there across the road at the gleaner. Um, we do have one more field, but it's not ready yet. It's going to be next month. We also got to be figuring out where we're going to be putting wheat at this year. We might be putting. Actually, we probably could bale this hay and make this. What do we have here? That was all corn. Yeah, we shoot. We might be making this all wheat. 
Well, we didn't have any beans. We chopped this all as corn. Oh yeah, we might be. Uh, we need to be getting the drill no-till and some wheat. We never even got thinking about. It. I guess we could always just hold off. We could put some uh, oats in the ground. That might give us a little bit more time to get that field chiseled and help with those weeds. Get it all leveled back up. We might do that instead. Might get that hay bale and just set a guy up chiseling. Might get Evelyn over here. Or Dale, see who wants to drive tonight. We got uh, Miles and Niles. They milked this morning. Now they're in, uh, they're at home. That's uh, Dale and Evelyn's boys. They've been helping milk. Jake says, for anyone who could answer this, the JD627C is set up, or 15 inch rows. Oh, I don't know. Going with burgers tonight. We'll stream tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully, I can stop in. Hello, Midwest and Simulation Station, and all the chat says no. You done over 10 million liters of corn? Holy smokes. That's a bunch of corn. 10 million liters. How do I sound like? Is everything sounding good? Equipment sounding good? Mic sounds good, hopefully. Um, looks like Pickaxe has a answer for that. Their header question. I a lot to read. I'm in these little short rows. So we'll just leave out there for the end rows. But yeah, we got to get this tractor hooked up to the to the baler. I kind of actually forgot about having to bail that field. I just started chiseling. But we could actually put the TM 190 on the baler. We could let this. Try to think what we should be doing here. I want to get this chiseled up. We could just let this. Yeah, let's just let these. Start chiseling here. I kind of cut across. I was watching Lego My Diego stream earlier and I. Didn't turn fast enough. Let's just run it down and back. Get this corner all cleaned up. We'll get that chisel and then we could get um, cultivated because then we could get it all packed down and ready for some oat or some wheat. I mean, sorry, wheat for fall. That'll be work out kind of nice actually because then it'll give us a field here close the whole manure on actually that might work out real well mm, Kenra says for corn I have 214 oh you still have that many more bushels uh 70 60 yeah no yeah no but yeah that is a 70 60 it's actually a very sweet tractor I love it um Productions or Dead Shop. How you doing? How you doing tonight, Dead Shop? Thanks for stopping in. Thank you guys all for stopping in. Didn't know it was before. Thought it was an implement. Too much. Saw a few broken branches there. You <laughs> rhubarb patch. Can't get close to that rhubarb patch. Granny and have my hide. This is what you need to be getting on your elm. I'm say their Lego is a chisel plow. Always feels good to get that ground turned under. Bye. You leaving me? All right. See you later. Uh, no. Gotta get going. 
We're just getting started. You quit not very long after I left Lego. I kind of peeped back in and your stream is already going on Twitch. SF Farm and Photography. Lots of work. Heck yeah, there's lots of work. We got lots and lots of work. We got the Duan Baker. So, uh, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to stay here on Alma for a while, but I do have a little surprise I want to head over. This is where you got confused, Lego. Betty Lou's farms here on Alma. But that secret swine surprise is over on Stone Valley. So we're going to switch over there. Probably more towards the end. Maybe in the middle. I don't know. Once I get to a point, there's quite a few people in here. We'll, s we'll jump over there. I'm going to show you something I've been kind of working on for Stone Valley. <sighs> I think Alma's vote won early. And then I think Stone Valley kind of at the last minute, but... We're going to head to Stone Valley anyway at some point. i got something I want to show you guys. Hopefully this chisel can run all by itself. And we're just going to set somebody up. Maybe, well, Benny's not here yet, so... Yep, looks like Evelyn's taking over. Alright, good deal. You had to make a phone call? That's unacceptable. What are you doing? Ordering food again? If you guys haven't watched Lego, you need to jump in a Twitch uh, stream when he's streaming. It's nothing but a good time. Alright, so we got the uh, big horses. Oop, that's not the one I wanted. Let's get this puppy hooked up to the big baler. Oh, big brother. Oh, okay. There we go. How you doing tonight, Duan? You stick around. We'll make it to Stone Valley. I think he voted Alma, though. There we go. Got everything parked up here in the barnyard. She's a little cramped. So I did turn my um, alfalfa to grass that does seem to work better let's get that end row picked up the mini tool never worked hard workers on 70 because they crashed but this is 22 and I fixed it I believe hey pleasant it says Aaron Ashlock how's it going I'm doing great how are you Aaron hey hey Ron Hey there, Benny. About time. I was going to have you drive tractor. Here I had to have Evelyn take over because you weren't in here. I didn't realize this baler had so many sounds in it. Let's do this thing. There we go. This is what you need, Lego. This is way faster than that round baler. He's been using a round baler making like thousands of round bales I'm like heck no we're going with the big square baler let's, let's get some auto steer going that way if I'm reading chat I'm not all over the place isn't this it's better when it's on the 7060 the 7060 looks really good with it on it but this don't look bad this is the backup plan Solid unit right there. Hey, Eric, you're in here. How you doing? Glad you can stop in, even if it's for a little bit. It's good to see you. I've seen you earlier. Doing great, says A.A. Ron. We have got a ton of hay. I mean, our barn is pretty full. Uh, we're just going to keep making it, though. Ain't nothing wrong with some round bales. I, there ain't. There's nothing. That's just this is 
I mean faster. It's just so much faster. For a guy who's running a big dairy, oh man, you need speed and efficiency. Oh, that's kind of a hill for right there. Let's just reset that GPS. There we go. Alright, well, we got. Uh, I had both the Alice and the Deloitte Mini Temple 22, but I ended up removing them because I had no use for them. Plush maps I played had big fields. Well, I got big fields. I just got two of them. See, look at it. Right over there. 70s, 60s, just running there like a champ. We could get the other one out, put it on the white. White could pull the other one. But we gotta get these bales made. And you made your last round bale last night. There you go. All right, yeah. Hey, we got Adam Ashlock becoming a pleasanteer. I think that's what we're gonna. End up. I'm, I might still put a uh, pull out there uh, as what we wanna maybe call our pleasant uh, channel members, pleasanteers, pleasant peeps, pleasant pheasants. Maybe even just put a thing out there. If people can come up with some names. Maybe there's something I'm not even thinking of. I like running the small stuff, but it's hard to do on a 4x map. It can be. You just gotta bite off the amount that feels right for the equipment you're using there, pickaxe. You, you don't have to farm the whole map. Just farm what works for you. With the equipment you like. I know, I kinda almost... Sometimes feel like I'm getting into too much big equipment here. Just wait till we go to Betty Lou's. Her husband, Bob, man, he had... He had some big equipment. There ain't no doubt about that. I'm trying to do a big dairy, and I'm using a Vermeer baler. The, the round baler, the Vermeer round baler. Yeah, that's a good one. I got nothing against the round baler. We started out with the little cloth round baler. The little two... What did we start out with? We started out with the... Where's she at? Air baler. We started out with the... Right there, we start out with the 250 roto cut. That's what this farm started out with. And then we went up to the big Heston 4900. All thanks to Fender. Had a hard time doing that on Iowa Plains. What, making, using small equipment? Oh, big fields, yeah. Let's cut them down, that's what I do. You know, you can see here, I got all kinds of fields. Cut this big one up, which this isn't even that big anymore. I should have left that a little bit bigger. We might be plowing fields back together. I mean, we got plans for some bigger... Oh my golly, we got we missed it. I've been watching Pickaxe, and he's farming like two-thirds of the map. And he's running some heavy equipment, and I'm like, shoo-wee. This hill is brutal. Brutal. Could use a few more ponies. You more never hurt nobody. Run about center. Yep, that looks good. Hey, it's Trey. How are you? Big's the way to go. You just wait till we go over to Betty Lou's place. Oh man, just right over the hill there. I head there after we get some bailing done here. Oh yeah, we need to yeah, we'll crank our speed up just a little bit. We got a lot going on. Might have to add more days. Yeah, we're just running the six row corn head, so I shelled like I don't know, a little bit of this patch off. Shelled this big patch. I got this one to grow yet. I think eight row would be Plenty enough. If I ran an eight-row machine, I think it'd be plenty enough. Nardis? I'm gonna butcher that, so I'm not even gonna... We're gonna call you Nardis. How you doing tonight? Thanks for stopping in. I'm getting the setup on Wispy. I'm actually gonna try and do a series. I'm gonna try mostly older equipment. There you go, pickaxe. Always enjoy your little clippets. Always enjoy the little clippets you got. I just wonder how you get by with using all that sound. It's just, or music. I'm surprised you don't get banned. 
Or flagged? I don't know what YouTube usually does if you use music like that. This tractor is a solid unit. Good sound. The three J's, how are you doing? Yeah, I know. I see Stone Valley was supposed to be a little farming, like four to six row. And then for some reason I got stupid and went sixteen row planner and two big combines. Wonder what my other capacity is. I got a silage additive capacity. Something else, but I don't know what that would be for. Confused. Hey, there's Dan. How are you tonight, Dan? Thanks for stopping in. Biggest combine I have is a 1480 Gleaner R7. My other two were 7720s. 96 1420s. Ah, that's a whole fleet of combines. Big old fleet. Like, I generally wouldn't turn like this on the ends, but. Let's back her up here and hope to God a train's not coming. Clean that up just a little bit. What do we want to do here? Do I want to take this end row? We're leaving just a little bit of hay, which is okay. We're going to plow her up anyways. I tell you what I do want to use, I think it's Jeremiah that's using it, or I want to try it out, is that uh, script by Thundar for the, uh, I, I, I think it's for the moisture and all that, but I don't really necessarily care about all that stuff. I just want it for the throwing the chaff on the ground, and if you rake it up, you can bail it. Like, I think that's slick. I'd love to try that out. Oh, I get copyright violations, you just don't see those ones. Okay, alright. Should say, I'm good, sir. Good, thanks. Driving export avocado S tonight? Yeah, I would say I'd be pretty small with, 14, with a 15 foot head. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care about dryness. Like, I get the dryness. Um, and that's realistic and all. I mean, it's great, but I don't necessarily care that much. Like, I don't even care about dry corn on here because I'm going to feed most of my corn. But I would love to see that chaff part about throwing the um, fodder on the ground because I would love to bale some corn stalks maybe, but I don't know. Maybe. Pick that up. We'll head back down to this end. Come back. Nice shadows for those silos. You guys all using those silos? You that are on PC? They're out and about. I need to stay focused. I got a lot of projects. Actually, one you'll see over at Betty Lou's place. So we got a we got something set up there. Try it. Harvest Master, I believe it's called. Squatch would know. Squatch would know. Where is Squatch? Nice shadows. Yeah. Nice shadows, Dan says. Wish F22 had irrigation. Yeah. There's people that want it. I'm not saying I'd be against it. I'm not one that would use it, probably, but. Sure. Daniel says, Good evening. How are you doing tonight? I am watching your content. Keeping up the. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you, Daniel Record. We will. We will try to keep up that good work. I gotta keep like. Oh yeah, I gotta show you what else I did today. Something that's probably, yeah, I'm more than willing to pass out. Might even stick it on my itch page. It was a need. Somebody needed it. He had problems with getting syrup on his uh, Legos, my egos. So I ended up fixing something for him. I'll show you that as soon as I get up here to the southern end. That's pretty neat, and I know if some people, a lot of people are probably wanting this. Hey, there he is. ELR, 22. Care about being able to bail and rake it, it just looks more, yeah, I agree. Yeah, 100%. 
I agree. We get to the other end, I'll show you real quick. I kind of tweaked it for myself, but then I, I didn't like it. It was, wasn't right. Um, looked bad on my part, what I tried to do for myself, but it was quick and fast. I know Lego can already tell what I'm talking about. But we will we'll stop right there as soon as I get this point row done here. And I'll show you. Because Lego, my man, was trying to mix some feed. No, he was trying to store some barley, I think you were trying to do. And he was going to try to make it into mineral feed, but couldn't get his feed wagon to... Oh, sorry, going a little fast. So I redid the pipe. I made the boot the way it's supposed to be. This is how the boot's supposed to look. Um, so it goes up. Still got the ties. Probably almost really need one at the top, but... So I already mixed up me a batch of feed just so we wouldn't have to... Y'all wouldn't have to see me make feed. Here we go. Let's just run this around. I'll show you real quick. Paul Hudson. One of his many godly acts. Yeah, what did it take me like... 30 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. I redid the whole thing. Even cleaned up the XML, redid it. Oh boy. I could make it to hold a lot more things. But now look at this. Look at all this room. Huh? Yeah. You're not going to be able to get your uh, big mixer underneath that silo though. Not even a chance. But yeah, I made it so. And two. So we'll just do this. It's cheating, but we're going to cheat it right so this didn't have effects before whenever it was dropping now look oh yeah dust effects oh yeah it's all fixed all for you guys because we already had a batch of feed mixed see what do you guys think redid that boot made it better I'll talk with JMF but he's been pretty cool about things I've been tweaking so I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a no big stink from him this is never gonna drive in here we're gonna hit the shed oh look at that let's just unload this quick I didn't work on this though that stinks if I get that back garage door in I think we'd be pretty much good enough for people to try play with Good job, Balin. You must be a real farmer. You would think so, Paul. And you would be correct. I've only ever ran a big square baler like this one time. Oops. But I've ran a little square baler, round balers, a ton. Actually, I was usually the guy stacking, I guess. So I didn't get to run it a ton, but... I've been around it a time or two. Please put on your itch. Yeah, I, I think so. I don't think JMF's going to have an issue with it. Um, I really don't know what he built him for originally. To fill, to be honest with you. Nice, please put on your itch. Secrets being shared. Just keeps knocking them out of the park. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know. I was talking to somebody and I, I think it was Schultz Motti. Oh, Schultz Monty, I didn't realize how much stuff he had that, how many mods he had, good mods. And he's been kind of a good buddy, kind of came and come out of the woodwork for, and been a good buddy to me, so. But anyhow, uh, I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah, oh, about the parlor, yeah, I'd really want to get a freestall. This end is terrible, who raked this? Must have been Niles or Miles, one of the two. Sure, the heck wasn't me. You know what we should have put on here? We probably could have bailed with the D21. I think it would have had no problems bailing. Got that smokestack just rolling. We might do still a Stone Valley this weekend. Hey, there he is, Bruce. I always love dropping into Bruce's streams. I drop in with a howdy and then I get a 
Hey there, plus of you, how's it going? He's all real cheerful. I always love it. Makes my day, Bruce. Yeah, no problem. I love stopping by, Bruce. It was Niles. You think it was Niles? Niles usually does pretty good. It might, maybe he was slack. Maybe his girlfriend was riding with him down there or something. Got him distracted. Widen it a little bit. Yeah, it's all right. I don't, I don't get too crazy worked up about it. If we miss a little bit, we miss a little bit. We'll circle back. It wouldn't actually take much to widen it, but. Yeah, Bruce. Oh, I love it. I love dropping in your streams. I don't always get to stay long. It's kind of during my busy part of the night, but. Sometimes. You playing with the, yeah, you don't play with animals probably too much, Bruce, but yeah, I got those silos there if you need stuff like that. For some silage. We're scooting right through this chore. We about got this done. I might pick up a load or two just so that guy chiseling can get this all chiseled up. We gotta get that oats. I don't know if the, uh, white I don't know if it would pull that cultivator. We got that new sunflower. We guess we got the little. We got the little cultivator yet. I guess we could use it. We gotta get uh, that hay over there tended too. We got a lot of chores yet tonight. Hopefully, hope the guys are ready to get some farming in tonight. Yeah, I'm doing the baling. Look at this. I think I do most, uh, I guess, no, the big field, I will hire the big field. But, yeah, for the most part, I think I run this big baler all the time. But, I mean, look how cool of a setup it is. Why would you not want to run it? You know? You know what I'm talking about, Fender. How you doing? Are you off work, or are you still hiding from the boss, or... I mean, I'm driving it, but I am using a little bit of GPS just to keep me... So I can read my chat. It's not me, says. Yeah, got to drop in and give the token hello, even if we are busy doing other stuff. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. It's not me. I know, how could you not run it? I mean, look at this thing. Woo. She's mint, boys. This thing even sounds good. I think this is probably my favorite tractor on the farm, sounding-wise. Even over my favorite D21. Yeah, we gotta... That guy's got some time. We could head over to... Now, let's get one wagon load of, off the bales. Because I, I hate for him to start getting in trouble with them bales. You just started replacing the shutters on the front of your house. Well, if you were here, it'd be so windy your shutters would be at your neighbor's place before you knew it. Oh, it must have been windy there too, okay. When he's not working, he's <laughs> Yep, know that feeling. So, let's turn... Oh, okay, let's plop those out. Hold that up. Because we're going to have to make that other hay field. I don't think we have any room for some hay silage. Let's just pull this right in the shed, I guess. I don't even know. We're running out of... We need more equipment. Let's just back this in. Richard Thomas says, Hey... Hey, Richard Thomas, how are you? So we don't have the gleaner put away because we still got that one last field of corn shell. I just kind of left it out. We're just going to kind of back this thing in here. Oh, I didn't want to unhook that, but I did. Hook yourself back up, please, and thank you. Uh... Trying to decide what tractor we want to pick up bales with. What do you guys think? 
We got the, the white egg co or the white. What do you guys think? The big white or the little white or the egg co? I'm going to read chat. You guys tell me what you want to use. Do you have more mods coming to all platforms? Yeah, the shop I got to get working on. Uh, and I would like to get it. Now you're now you're doing Lego. Good to see you again. How how you doing Lego? Big white, big white, little white, white, egg co. Looks like a white. Let's just take the big white. Yeah, the big white's the fastest. Actually, the egg code is fastest, but that's okay. Long time no see. Yeah, I know. We've been kind of chatting all day, haven't we? It's so much fun over at a Lego stream. It just lasts all day. Will we bury the chopper? Because the bales have no collision, so... Sooner or later, it's, you're gonna, we're going to get that far, you know? Two wagons, Lego. Pay attention. This is how the master does it. We do have to turn on F1 to make sure that we're all reset. Woo, we're a little operating. Yep, there we go. Buzz around here. Bing, bang. Oh yeah, let's get these, we'll get this side some bales picked up, because he's actually moving right along with that chisel plow. Maybe we'll get it all on two loads, I'm not sure. It's going to be, going to be close, going to be close. There we go, get these. I just kind of, just because I want to get them off the side, we'll kind of just stay over here. Drive back and forth, pick some up. It's a good sounding tractor too, though, really. Any chance the Gleaner? Uh, the Gleaner would need so much work. I know it l seems like it looks really good, but it would need a lot of work. Did we just about get hit by the train? Yeah, we did. Look at that. Hot dog. I wish you guys would. I mean, I wish Sid would make his. Or someone else that's, like, way better. Like, Agratana or somebody. But I think they're buying their models, I would assume. I don't know. How can they get the S7 so quick to all platforms? I think it's all platforms, right? Like, they gotta be buying, like, 3D models or something. That thing would take forever, I would think. Maybe not. Guess if you know how to, to what you're doing all the time, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Okay, so we're going to let these just sit on the wagon because, you know, we don't want to put them right away. Uh, yeah, we got super strength on. Let's just... Will you not take it? There you go. Let's just throw this at the cows out here. Look at my realism, Lego. <laughs> Lego. Realism. There we go. Let's fill that one up. Run this across to the other cows. Boop. Boop. Leave it. Oh, I took it all up. Alright. So let's head down to maybe. Oh my golly. I need a gate here. There we go. Realism is key. Yep. Man, eh, we're all about that realism. 100% realism. See you later. We'll be back. Got the mini New Holland right here. Gosh, I love this little tractor. Scooter, how much to get you to put some better tires on the front of this thing for me? One small Smedley Ordelio. Love the silos and the shop. So yeah, we got this whole field off. Well, thank you, uh, Old Iron. Or, yeah, Old Iron. Thanks for coming in, too. 
We got this big cornfield all shelled. This bebop through these fields, but I, you know, it didn't take too long really with the six row gleaner. I'd almost be tempted, you know, we'll just leave it alone, but I'm not too afraid to make them bigger. I thought it was going to take a lot more than what it did. Wait till you guys see what's coming on down here. Any predictions of what's going to be lurking down here at all? S7. I think in real life it does too, though, doesn't it? Pickaxe, the S7 has the X9's cab. Hey, Bullfrog, how you doing? We're glad to have you. Nothing plus 10 per nothing plus 10 percent? Oh boy. Tri ribs or quads? I think tri ribs. Like even what maybe the 3020s got on the front of it. Let's see if I got that tractor in here. But this might be too tall. Did I put the 3020 in here? No, I didn't. Oh, there's 4320. It would seem to be way too big. Yeah, that's way too big. I think. That's just kidding. You don't have to do it. I know you're busy with your own projects. I just know you're really good at what you're doing. Oh boy, we can see stuff already. Oh no. Keep my head down. Okay, okay, what do we got? That's what I was meant by a real life version. Oh, okay, yeah. How many fields is BTO status? Uh, I'd say a majority of them. Bob always kept a nice, neat place, guys. So just... Just beware. He likes to keep his grass nice and trimmed. He likes to keep this... What in the devil? Huh. Bob must have got me a present before he passed away. Or maybe Betty Lou got that for me. Hey there, Betty Lou. How's it going? She living in this big house. My golly. I have to downsize, but... Looked like a newspaper was sitting there is what I thought. I was like, oh, I'll get you the newspaper, but she got her... She must be going on a trip. I bought this farm. I gave her 600000 now she's going on a trip. Sorry. Oh, I'm making a mess. Oh, gosh. I made a mess. Sorry. Let me get that for you. I don't even know how to flip a chair over. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. Sorry. I'm, I, I made a mess. I, I'm leaving. She's going to stay living in the house. Half the map. Yeah, I'd say. Let me see the tractor again. Okay. Here it is, New Holland, TL-80. Right here. Me and Lego, Lego and myself are using this thing. It's on the Mod Hub, so it's not like a foreign site, you know, could get a virus. Nope, it's, it's, on, the, it's on the Hub. Yeah, let's jump back in our truck. Let's just go ahead and drive up here. So, of course, holy mackerel, look what Bob's got here. He built himself a nice shop. Oh, that's nice. Uh, let me see. You seen FSG uses Gleaner and D20 on his US ground? Yeah, he did. Nardius. You excited your trash is in place? Okay. This is the shop. We've all seen this, right? We've all played with this. It's all real nice. Something. Oh, golly. Look at Bob. He was a big New Holland guy. Holy cripers. A big 890 in Intellis. Intellisense? Probably didn't say that right, but that's okay. A big old boy right here, right? An 890? Yep, CR 890. We can jump up in this rig here. Uh, let me. It's gonna be two clicks. Oh yeah. <laughs> Rubbing it about the shop. Yeah, I think Betty Lou's asking me if we you know. 
she still has Bob's equipment. Some of it. If I'd be interested in buying this thing. She's got a lot of equipment here, I'm not going to lie. It's going to be kind of expensive. That blue star does look real nice behind your name, Fender. Uh, in the shop, wow, new haunt. In, into sense, Intellis? I don't know how you say it. This combine is Lego, right? This combine's on the hub. Who's Bob? Bob is Betty Lou's husband. He passed away this summer. Bob and Betty Lou own this farm. And now I, I bought the buildings, house and buildings. Let's just not go in the big roll of doors. Let's go in the regular door. That is the smallest. Bob was a short guy. He was pretty little. Oh my. She's got some equipment left over here. Lego is rubbing off of me. James, how's it going? Bob the Builder. He, he was a builder. He could have, yeah, he built some stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is all stuff I have the option to buy. I'm not saying I have to buy it, but I could. We got ourselves a 1631. This is what Bob planted his corn and beans with. He pushed the bean meters up and he, or the, uh, Ah, uh, split row planters up, and he would plant 16 rows, and then he'd drop them down and plant his beans. Uh, this was his, pretty much his tractor, his main tractor. T8350, that's just a big old bruiser. That would be a big tractor for the farm. Someone has converted R.D. Allen's white. Best sheller out there. Hey, five gen farms. Uh, he's got himself a 41 foot header, not a draper, just a regular old 41 foot flex head, eight row, cause he playing it with the 16. And he's got himself, got himself a Demco grain cart. Huh. So these are all decisions I have to make this winter if I want to. Purchase this, or if I'm going to let Betty Lou sell this. So, mod surprise number one. This is a small bin pack that I made. So, Bob, this has been Bob's bin site. Just a kind of a smaller, smaller little uh, grain leg. I actually put this together for Stone Valley, but I thought it kind of fit this area. So that might be there, uh, or we have this ability. We could use this because um, what we're probably going to end up doing is putting our steers down here. I'm probably going to redo this barn. I'm going to take the headlocks out, probably put, um, uh, what am I thinking? Guardrail. We'll take the freestalls out. Bob milked a few cows. I think I'm going to redo this barn. Every time I look at it, I'm like, I want to, but then I don't want to. So I, I think I'm probably going to. Love that bin setup. Yeah, it's just kind of an older bin setup, but it works good. Actually, Squatch might be converting it into making you state controller. So I've not, I've looked at it, but I didn't do a lot with it. But yeah, we might get rid of this. We're probably going to sell the milk tank. Um milk cans make this an uh, office probably redo that we might probably gonna tear this silo down i know it seems stupid because we're gonna probably build new silos here but this silo well bob didn't know what he's doing he put the pipe right in the ground you can't really fill a silo that way nice looking silo really i don't know why i didn't just pluck this and use this as a silo what if i did that you guys need a silo like this i can fix this thing up it's actually a nice looking silo. Any hoozy. So that's the plan down here, guys. We're going to be putting the steers. There's also a lagoon down here. I, I didn't even want to use that cow barn, but I know if you get rid of that, then you have this, and it's not going to really make sense. So, Because if we're going to put steers in here, they're not really going to make liquid manure anyways. How many acres is my farm total?
I'll show you what I own right now, Riley. This is where I'm at right now. So this is the whole map. I own this much. So my next plan, my very next purchase is going to be this. And that's just so I can make this field one big field. And then I'll probably like make this somehow a field somehow like this. Um, but what we'll probably end up doing is just combining this, making, we'll probably have this bought by spring. So we'll probably just get this all situated would be my guess. Do it. Darn Bob. They say Sucker will pay big dollars for those milk cans. Though I know I might get some big money out of the milk cans actually. I didn't think about that. A little grain leg would have looked perfect down where the lagoon sits. Yeah, maybe. It might be a little bit too big though. Can't have too many silos. Maybe he was trying to draw water from the ground. Yeah, maybe that's what he's using the silo for. I had my bin site. Oh, really? Okay, so let's kind of run down. Uh, I was thinking about using the New Holland. Maybe shell our field of corn with it and see if we like it. I mean, it's a big combine. I mean, we got room to get her in here, but it's it's a big combine. Definitely be a step up from the gleaner. There's rank. How are you? Really like your American shop right there. It is. Yeah, it looks good. Fender, how good does it look? Console, it look nice. I even tried to make it like match this barn. I was going to delete this barn, but I kind of messed things up. So I had to like deal with it. Along with the cattle barn. I mean, I could figure it out like I did the other ones and got rid of it. But she the beaut. <laughs> yeah. All right, so there's the new purchase. All right, there's about 50 people here. You guys want to see the other thing I built? It's pretty cool over on Stone Valley. Are we at a good stopping point? Where's this tractor at? Yeah. All right, let's go over to Stone Valley. Real quick, like, since there's about 50 of you. Now, nobody leave. Just everybody stay here. You need to download. Yes, heck yes, you do. Wicked plans, yeah. I think Betty Lou's gonna help us milk a little bit. She, I was kind of telling some backstory in Lego's uh, stream earlier. She grew up milking cows in that barn there by hand when she was a young girl. And then she might just come down and help us out. Well, let's show you what I did here. I think this is gonna turn out pretty nice. I got a lot to do with it yet. Well, I got a fair amount, but look at that. Three people left. I, I said, don't leave. I'm going to show you something fantastic. Three people couldn't stay around. Oh, well. Some, a few people have seen this. Uh, I don't think I did anything different here. Oh, I did put the grain leg in. Uh, and the reason I did this was I just wanted something that was more auto drive friendly is why I built this but wicked pains plan the lurker stop lurking backstory and all it just works yeah all right guys ready it's gonna be slick so I bought this farm here we're just gonna drop in at the roadside Okay. Oh, you can already see it. Um, yeah, I bought this. This was the hog farm on the map, right? I own this field across the road here. I own the field around it, but I tore all the buildings down. And I kind of built my own setup. Huh? Does this look familiar to anybody? It's not Sickbert. Uh, it's not on the mob hub, not mod hub yet. They were here for dairy farm? <laughs> yeah. I guess you're right. They don't like pigs. Did I say it was going to be pigs? Okay, so yeah, this is the barn off of uh, Midwest Horizons. Does everybody know this barn? Huh? I got. I need to tone them down a little bit. I need to extend them out. People were like, oh, this concrete's so thick. No, it's fine. I need to just extend it out a little bit so it's not so much of a... Yeah, I'll get to it. Don't worry. I need to 
figure out what I want to do here. I didn't animate these doors because I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. But I put this in. I think this looks kind of cool. Just this overhang. Like your old American. We're going to sit here. We got a little campfire going on there. Huh? And then right in here, I, f I want to say I fixed this a little bit. I don't have the pigs coming in here yet, but I will have pigs coming in here. Um, but I redid the, I took the corn out. I thought it looked stupid. I'm going to probably shave this up so that the, you can get in this bump out a little bit. And I'll probably put some details in there. Maybe I'll put some corn back in there. Um... I redid the hog lot. I redid the lot. I uh, put. I'm gonna put a gate here. It'll be like two separate pens. And I put these hog feeders in. These are Legacy Western Iowa. So I talked to them. They said it was fine. I saw the screenshot. Midwest got a few bags of quick quick treat. Yeah. Hey, Kaler Farms. How are you? Yeah. So what do you guys think? This is just my little. But you guys, I know a lot of people don't do hogs, but. This is kind of my play on it. I always thought in Midwest Horizon, this is how this was supposed to look. And so, I don't know why the other night I was finally like, you know what? I I don't know why I don't just make this. Didn't I just turn on flight? No, I turned on speed. I'm sorry. I'm just going to fly up a little bit. Uh, what do you guys think? I want to rework the inside of this barn a little bit. So it makes a little bit more sense. Like there's no gates here. I don't know what I want to do here. Like I'm thinking about just doing away with this door. And raising this concrete to be the same level. Might redo some of the wood texture in here a little bit. But that's cool. Fire very nice. Looking good. I will use it. Yeah. And I even think I'll make it two versions. One will be pigs. And then I might make a, like a calf. Like for cattle. Wouldn't be a milking barn, but it'd be like a, uh, just for cow, or for some like heifers or calves or something. I'd have to redo this barn a little bit for calves. Or cows in, in general, but. And then this is just a placeable hog lot. And then, yeah, this is going to be kind of like a pig farm for the, for this map. I got my sows out here. About eight sows in each barn. I guess I need to buy a boar for each farm, but... Uh, and then I put in this. This is my... Grain. You can drop grain in here. This is from Midwest, too. I took it out. Just kind of an older... Kind of a neat older setup. Put the corn crib in here. Yeah, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about this? Like it? Like this kind of looking setup? Pretty slick. You'll be seeing this on Stone Valley, but I just wanted to show that barn. I've been kind of holding off. I haven't really posted a picture. I posted the one of the underneath, like the front porch there, but I did. I kind of really kept it to myself. I really would love to dress this up like this. Like I think, I mean, this kind of looks how it's supposed to be, right, guys? I mean, this is in your mind. This is what you'd kind of see. So, yeah, that's what's going on with this. Epic, sign me up. I would use it for sure. Yeah, it's just kind of a nice order. When's the next stream on? Um, I don't know. Maybe this weekend. We'll see. I mean, that's what I'm hoping. We're not gonna save. We're going back to Alma. I'm 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 now started invested in there for the night. So we'll go back. But I just wanted to show you guys. That's the pig barn. I'm kind of working on I got it all functioning and working whoa that looks so cool it is going to have different yeah I probably wasn't going to do that that's what's going to probably be last because it, it's going to take a little bit of work so I don't want to get burned out doing all the other stuff or doing that stuff before I get all the other stuff done because it, it can kind of take a little bit you got to cut out all the it takes a little bit, but yeah, I want to make it so it's color changeable. It's hard to keep. It is. I think it's the worst thing about doing this stuff. Like, uh, I want to show so many stuff, but then it's like, ugh, 
I don't want to be like over the show and stuff, you know. Uh, what were we doing? We need to get that chisel running. There you go. Oh, Benny's in it now. There he goes. Good job, Benny. Need a couple oil lanterns? Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Hey, Logan. How are you? Okay, let's hop in the white. Let's get these bales all off this field quick. That way, I don't have to worry about them chiseling. I know I don't have my thing up. I need to get it up. Um, okay, my input's... There we go. I love this, how this works. Bing bada boom. We're in the trees. Yeah, so that's kind of the little secret hog barn I've been working on. I have no idea how long it's going to take me to finish that up or get that out. I hope it don't take me too long. I'm great. How are you? Well, no, I'm great. I'm real great. Doing good. Thanks for asking, Logan. Hope you guys had a good week. Hope you can enjoy the weekend. We got a couple more bales there. What else I say? Oh, we gotta get to Ted and that hay over there. I think we got a good. I got a good amount of liquid manure hauled out. So don't have to worry about that for a while. We could even work around a little bit. If we wanted to. Um, I kind of did this backwards. I was going to leave his wagon sit back here, but... Yeah, let's just leave him sit back here. For the time being. Let's hook this tractor to the tether. If I can remember where I put the tether. Yeah, we'll hook it. I was thinking about putting a little New Holland on there, but he's right there on the auger. We're going to leave him right there. Where, oh where? You guys remember where I put that tether? Fender, I think I'm going to sell this roller. I got so much hay. I don't need that extra cutting. I mean, it could make me some money, but... Looking for a tether. Uh, have you guys ever lost your tether before? I'm absolutely stumped. Did I sell the thing? What in the... Have you guys ever lost a piece of equipment? Alright, let's run around. Nope, not in that shed. Is it out here? There it is. We found it. Yeah, I don't really use the roller. I'm so... I got enough acres of hay. It's kind of throwing money away because I could be making another cut and I could sell, but... Ah, I don't know. I guess we got all that barn space down at Betty Lou's now. We might keep... I don't know. I'm probably going to sell it. Doesn't really fit my style. Here we go. I think what we'll do trying to think here yeah dang Niles he hung that he hid that thing from me 
it's awesome to hear that and yes I had a great week so far since I'm back working at the Big Rock Quarry here in town for the second year oh there you go you still on here Jake look how good a job that guy's doing chiseling man he's doing a good job that AI is working just great probably one of the things I spend the most time trying to get right on a piece of equipment is the AI all right how do we want to do this I already have course play set up so we could just go no we don't well, then let's just set it up quick um, great let's just like course play do this job we got other jobs Open number of headlands two smooth. Yep, and let's see what it does. Yep, looks good to me. What do you guys think? Good. Yep. Yeah, I don't. Well, it's summertime though, Eric, so I can't blame him too much on leaving the stuff out. There you go, guy. Good luck. We'll bring you some dinner, Benny. Yep. Oh, that might be Dale. It's your drive when we had to question. You're all over the trail. We're down in the lake now, taking a dip. It's a little warm. 71 today. We can hook up to the other chisel. Yeah, let's hook up to the other chisel. Ah, eh, we'll use the white. I think you guys like seeing the white in use. I think he nodded off. Yeah. I didn't get to catch you nodding off last night, but at least you admitted to it. Well, it's always I gotta look to my left to see the um, chat, so that's what happens. I look away. Now I got a starburst stuck to my tooth. Let's fit this baby quick up with some duels. Let's just pour her back in the shed. Put some duels on it. Newborn light. Yeah, exactly. New level of exhaustion. Yeah, I was just sleeping whenever. Let's top her off with some diesel. There we go. Let's put some duels back on her. I always like to do this. I always like to paint them. Repair them whenever I'm kind of... There we go. Please tell me it didn't put a... Uh... No. A license plate. What kind of shenanigans? Shenanigans. Oh, you missed all the shenanigans. You missed it all. Showed off the new farm. Showed off the new farm on Stone Valley. I like the theater that does the rose. Not sure what you mean there, Nardius. Nardius. Yeah, we showed the new purchase off. I spent my six hundred thousand dollars on. Six hundred thousand dollars on. Oh yeah, yeah I know. Do I am in? Did you not see Stone Valley? So I'm only doing this because I'm trying to clean up. If there's any like, like see this hay on the, it'll get rid of it. It's the only reason we're doing this. Not for any other reasons. We'll start on this side over here. Oh, we can head over to Betty Lou's real quick, but nothing overly special. Just some equipment. Let's get this person going and we'll just sneak over there real quick. Like I said, all I'm, only reason I'm doing this is if there's any hay there, then it'll kind of get rid of it.
Tether the Ted's the rose? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. A tether that does the rose. Yeah, I just use the big tethers. That's kind of what I'm used to. Real life, so yeah, that's just what I'll be using. Alright, you, you hear Sim? You ready to go over to the Betty Lou farm? Place. Trying to see if Sim was still in here. I'm sure he is. Head over to over to the new farm. That's the last tractor. Okay. So this is... Oh, my truck's still here. We better just take my truck home, man. This is Betty Lou's. Pretty plain. Probably gonna end up... I haven't really looked at this yet, but... I don't know what we're gonna do with this area here. I guess just leave it alone. I just think we own, like... Right? We own some of this. No, not a lot of that, I guess, so. Might square this driveway up. Because we own... Yeah, we own that. And we own this field. So yeah, we might just square this driveway up. I think we own that, yeah. We could square that up. And probably bring this over. I think we might still put the... Big cat, I don't know. This might be enough cattle for us actually down here. Um, pro oh, we got this big hay field. I forgot this is hay. We're not gonna make it this year because this just doesn't seem right to me. Everybody's been buying in the winter, so I'm just gonna let this stay hay. Get the dozer out. Oh, we, yeah, we could. I don't have any trees. I want, right, if anything, I'd plant some more trees. Like back here, really, I'd probably just plant some more trees. I kind of like this for steers, like these, like, uh, panel or like metal on the gates. I kind of like that. But this is what it looks like, Sim, if you're still here. This is the new farm for now. Anyhow, we gotta get our truck, head back home. We got activities. Well, good evening, Jeremiah. Jeremiah was both wrong. What's your Discord? I don't have a Discord. Rough Rider. I just hang around in other Discords. This will open this puppy up. So yeah, we are we are hurting here. We're at six hundred thousand. Um you know the farm has been sitting at a good hundred or one million so we do have this corn left that corn's got to come off we might just hold that right down to Betty Lou's that actually might work pretty good then we'll have it right down there for those cattle that might work out real nice See, I hate to get rid of two of my chisels because, like, this big field here is gonna gonna take a little bit of chiseling. It's just a mod. That's all it is, Rough Rider. No reason to get all. Yep, it might not be a farming simulator mod, but someone made it, and it passes, and it passes. Let's just park this right up here. See if we can go take over the white. What are you guys thinking? The white or the new Holland? Which one you want to see? Which one you want me to run? Or you want me to run one for a while, then run the other one? 
Yep, you heard that right, Fender. I'm hurting. 600,000. Hopefully the farm makes it. How are we going to get by? John Deere. Oh. Yeah. Farm, that's fine. Only farm, that's fine. Hurting G's. Yeah. What are you sitting at, Lego? You probably got more money than me. Oh, were you saying you wanted to see me drive, Sean? <laughs> I didn't get what you were saying, Duane. You have to stop in on the Stone Valley night. That'll be... That'll be uh, John Deere night. In the bin, maybe? In the bin, maybe. Huh? Staying on the side of the corner. Yeah, 600,000, I think, yeah. Might have to find something. Might have to find something else to do. I had to get some hogs or some chickens. See, I don't. I think I have that barn. Uh, let me turn around. Otherwise, I'll end up hitting my silos. Now I have to build a new one for a hundred thousand. Maybe after I sell all my crops. Shoot. This tractor does not turn very sharp. Uh, let's see. I guess I could put hogs at uh, Betty Lou's place, couldn't I? Yeah, it's this one. No, it wouldn't really fit. Betty Lou's got kind of white. I guess if I made it color selectable. Maybe Bob had some a few pigs. I, mean, I guess I could make us a cattle barn down here. Put the Smedley feeders in for like some steers. Like put it maybe, ah, it wouldn't fit. Hmm. Like I feel like the porch would be something that would be kind of like out in the front, like. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I do some pigs too? Or should I make, I could make it a steer barn. I could put some Smedley feeders in it and make it a steer barn. Only fans. Only farms, maybe. My money is in the bin? Maybe. No, my money's in the silos. Ripping. Pigs? Pigs over more cattle? Oh yeah, you don't want me to do cattle because you're doing the big cattle operation. Good thing we put them duels on this. The ground's pulling hard. Oof. What are you going to do pigs on Stone Valley? I might make it into a cattle yard. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I knew it was like, yeah, you don't want the competition. Don't worry, I'm going to be milking so many cows. The milk checks are just going to be crazy. I'm not really even like a big front duel tractor fan, but this I think this tractor would look interesting with some front duels on it. Not realistic, but I think it would look interesting. You never done the pigs? That's how I used to always work ground in real life. I would skip over. You'd skip over three. I'll, I'll show you how I did in real life when I pulled like a John Deere 2700 behind a 9330. You'd skip over. You'd take this one. Then you go back. You'd do your inside along the dirt then you come around and do the outside on 
like the right of my tractor. Then you'd swing around and do the middle one. Then you'd swing back over and do your outside one. Pay, pay attention. This is a pro tip. Rhea shit slinger? What the hell is that? There's no competition right now. You're killing me. <laughs> I don't. I think it's pretty much. I don't know who's. I think Lego is probably my closest competition. I'd have to change X amount to do pigs. You're saying for your feed, Eric, or what? I showed it off in my new YouTube video. Pleasant tip? Yeah. Pro tip, pleasant tip, sure. I'm only here for the pro tip. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, so now you see here, it gives you plenty of room to turn. Then you can hit your mark. So yeah, the next time you go on the far side of that pass, and you come do this then the middle one here, and then you go and do the far pass again. And then you never have to turn right on top of each right on top of yourself. You don't use this quality tool. You just use that heavy harrow. Yeah, the pig food stuff, yeah, it'd be pretty easy really. Eric, wouldn't be too bad I wouldn't think. You did, yeah. I thought I already read that rank. Yeah, you did a big old feed lot. What? Well, what is your YouTube name? Rank? Is it rank 29, or did you, is your YouTube name something different? Look at it's just ripping. The white just doesn't have the power. The see, like it should be able to go eight. Well, I think I have this one set to eight. I use the uh, work speed changer thingy mod. I don't even think Sim stayed around for the tour. I think he freaking dipped out on us, didn't he? Now, see how much easier that is to turn all the time? It's like really in tracks of five. Because then you do one, two, three, four, and then this would be five. And then the next one you could skip over three if you wanted. No, Lego's all against the tillage. It's He's not into the tillage. He uses the big, like, harrow. That's it. He might be... A, yeah, he might be lurking. You're right. How are you, Taz? Hey, there's Duck. Sugar Doug. Sugar Dougie. How you doing? Glad to see you in here, buddy. Hopefully your week went well. Running equipment. I'm proud to start, especially when making or joining fields. No, I think you shouldn't be allowed to use a plow at all. You ain't gonna plow the fields. You ain't gonna do proper tillage, which I know people in certain areas don't do this kind of tillage. Around here, I mean, a lot of people do. I guess some people are trying other things, but I'd say the majority. Okay, yep, sounds good. Rank, I'll have to check it out. I got a case combine commercial going on right now. Moving some rye from the wet bin to the dry storage. Now moisture is under control. Are you using the new thing by Thundar, Taz? Are you liking it? Don't tell me I need to adjust my farming again. Can the Sims <laughs> my chisels? Yeah, I like chiseling. Yep, I get that. There go. I mean, does anybody chisel your way or not at all? It's just all. But I think your fields are so big, it would take you guys forever to chisel your fields. Like I think the biggest fields around here is like maybe a, you know, 200 acres is like huge. More like 40 to 80 acre fields. I'm just trying, Doug, I'm just trying to teach everybody a easier way to plow, chisel plow. But Doug says, 
doing good. How about yourself? Pleasant. Had a good week. Finished up a big sewer job just north, up north. Going to plant some of my garden this week. You seen the thunder are solid state though. Solid, is it solid state? I thought a state controller. We chisel here in southern Indiana. Yeah, central Ohio. I mean, west central Ohio. Yeah, we chisel a lot. That's where you're from, Sickbird. I don't know why I thought you were from overseas. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. One of those things. Yeah, I think it's called State Controller, so I think it's called. Ooh, I'm not going to be able to do my whole Skipperoo thing just because how close we are to, to the corner. Let's see where this ends up. Boom. Boom. Yeah, we're just going to take that pass right there. Then we'll have be in the long rounds. Which we're making good time. Then we'll hook the new hole into the big... Doug does have a good impressive garden. Did you get to see the Betty Lou tour? Sim or no? Yeah, Doug's a big gardener. He's got the what, the big 650 or 850 John Deere, Doug? Oh, missed it. <laughs> All right, let's we'll, we'll let him keep chiseling since I can get over to the other farm so much quicker. Okay, so this is Betty Lou's place that I bought. I just bought this farm now, so we have the potential to buy this equipment. We got a 890 New Holland combine. This is Bob's combine. Bought a couple years before he died this past summer. Put up this nice. Well, no, this is the shop he converted to this, and then. This barn and then the cattle barn. We own just one field. We just own the main farm area. Um, but yeah, we got that come new home come mine. We could buy. It's all up for sale if we want to buy it. Forty-one foot flex or not a flex. Oh, yeah, flex head. Eight row. Eight three fifty. Yeah, eight three fifty. Split row, sixteen row planner. And a Demco grain cart, if we're up for it. Then we got this nice Brock, uh, small grain leg that he had, and then the cattle barn, which I haven't really done anything to yet. But yep, so this is what the uh, we bought this 600,000. Like I said, we have the potential if we want to. She's got about a million dollars worth of equipment, so. Tenth generation on your farm, sick burn. I'm gonna pay my bills. We're down to six hundred thousand. But yeah, I see, Doug. You got a four thirty. I don't know why I thought you had something bigger than a four thirty. So yeah, we we got we're gonna put all the steers down at that farm. Uh, I just gotta get them moved. It'll give us a little bit more room for some dry cows and heifers, young stock. Oh, worry, we got this hired worker. Um, so that's the plan. We're gonna plant this uh, wheat. I think that's why we're getting this all worked up. 
Had some weeds and stuff we're trying to get rid of. Yeah, hard times. We're down to 600k. <laughs> Makes me sick. Yeah, I don't. I moldboard plowed this year, Doug. I I bought a four bottom moldboard plow. I liked it. I, it's fun. Smash the like button. Heck yeah, smash. Look at the new Han. He's just ripping it up. Works so good with two, because you can get one guy out there just doing the big bulk part of it, and then you can just mess around with the other rest of it, you know? But, but why two channels? Why do you want two channels for rank? Because I, I think that's what you used to be rank 29 or something, right? You do different style videos on that other channel or something? Let's see if I missed anything else. Tenth, that's extremely impressive. Oh, big boy time upgrades. Yeah, I think we got pretty much everything. Hey, there's Chad. Hey, Chad, how's it going? Bruce was in here earlier. I don't think he's... I don't know if he's here anymore. How you doing, buddy? Are you guys farming yet? It's wet your way. It's super wet here. One's on my phone. Oh, you do like the... You do like American farming on your phone then? Rank or something? Oh, yeah, Waylon's in here. Waylon, yeah, there's Chad. Chad. Chad likes, he's John to your guy. Prepped yet? Yeah. I'd say that's what mode this we're in around here, still prep mode. You guys forgot how, that's like the first, I even smashed the like button before the stream starts. Oh, Sim, if you're still here, I'll show you something else I did. Sim, Eric, thanks for the reminder. I love plowing. It takes the longest, but... Learn to plow with a 4430 and a 4200 rollover. Uh, I got a... Uh, I plowed with my 1486, and I got a four-bottom 2600 plow. I like... I plowed two different days with it, and the first day, it worked great. It's got the, like, steering axle thing in the back, hydraulic steering axle thing in the back. The first day it worked great. I spun it around a couple times. Then the second day, it did not. That back wheel, that hydraulic thing was just a pain in the butt. That drove me nuts. I was not wanting to drive to the other end, but. I ain't gonna take long. We're gonna have this done. We might as well get the New Holland hooked to the, uh, to the uh, cultivator and packer. Let's get that thing running. How's the guy doing tedding over there? Did we did we disturb him tedding? Uh oh. Oh, is he done? No, I bet not. No. Thank it. Oh no, he is done. Okay, you're gonna stay there. Uh forty four thirty, I do it if I get here before it's done. If you do, okay, I got you. Yeah, I'm gonna let it slide this time, Fender. Thought we were buddies. Glad Lego Lego could help everybody out. Do need two shorts on this account. V Ripper. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, I have a. I have a. I have a 2600 plow. And I also have a five, I think it's a 55 or it's a 5500 international chisel. Not a chisel plow, just or not a this chisel, just a chisel. Let me have this tractor. Get out of here. We're going to let the white finish chiseling. I think I got all the ends good. 
we're gonna get this thing hooked to the field cultivator yeah punch puppy in a fit yeah exactly so you you know you know my sorrows huh I should have just bought one that was all mechanical that had its rod that went to the back because I'm not gonna plow a lot with it and I rebuilt a bunch of it the hydraulics and stuff on it when they work they are so good so it's like I've, Chad do you guys plow you guys ever have like did you have like a 2600 I think it's a 2600 right is that right 2600 You have an AC 7000 four bottom plow, the V Ripper. Head. The top, oh, yeah, I, yeah. 510 Ripper. 510. I know Roosters is the 512, is the 510 Ripper. I don't know the 510. Is that like a, is that like the 2600s, but different? Here we go. We're going to run both these things. I reworked the AI on this cultivator too. It would always just get to the end and spin around. John, your disc ripper. Is, it, is there one in game? What kind of plows do I got here? It's not like... Oh, this is a 712. Okay. I think I know what the 512s, the 510s look like then. Maybe I don't, I'll have to look it up because then it's gonna drive me nuts. Let's unfold, nope. That's tractor options. Unfold the roller. I think the roller's sweet. I think right you can lower both of them at the same time you can roll V or something we're just gonna leave them down maybe there we go I don't know no I had to manually do it but here we go getting that ground real nice and ready for wheat yeah see we always pulled a 2600 or 2700 sorry we pulled the 2700 rippers. They always work good. I can never complain about it. I know that they complained that it didn't uh, finish so well. Like it would still leave corn stalks. It wouldn't get it as near as dark as they wanted it, but I don't know. I always thought it did okay. Did a nice job leveling. Let's crank this puppy up. Let's get some dust rolling. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, so what I'm thinking about is the, like, rippers. The, these. This is what we pulled around. was a 2700, just like this. But your 512s, I think, have a different set of discs in the front, and they don't have the, whatever, these kind of discs on the back. I think I know what a 5... 10 looks like. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna, not going to pick it up. I'm just gonna spin it around. It's gonna be a little hard to look at, but we're just gonna do it for realism reasons. Like this. Yeah, you can go ahead. Because for realism. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think, didn't Scooter do the 512, 5, 10? Now you got me wanting to look it up quick. We're on the straight and narrow. Let me get on my tractor house here quick. Or Rooster, didn't Rooster Mods do it? He did the 2720. Oh, he did a 2720 disc scraper. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Let me look it up. John Deere 510 Ripper. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought they were. Yeah, what do you pull that with? Chad realism gotta go we'll watch the rest later thanks alright thanks Dan have a good evening we're gonna get some cultivating and packing done anybody else use a setup like this in farm sim or no Yeah, it's a fire. Yeah. What do you what do you pull with? Why do you say what? I'm trying to figure out Scooter why he said what? What? Eighty five twenty, aka Duggo. Is that what you named your tractor with Duggo? Squatch, get out of here with the first person. Who who even drives first person? Let's let's go first person. This is how I'd be the whole time. Okay, are we are we packing? Uh, are we clodding up at all back there? No, oh, no, we're doing good. Damn ads! Well, heck yeah, let's got it. You know, happy <laughs> couple. I swear I keep turning it down. It's it should be only doing one like every 30 minutes. I think. I think it's the slowest as I can make them. How's it going, Luke? First person or no person? This. <laughs> oh, you bought an 8520 from Duggo? Oh, I didn't know that, Chad. I didn't even know you live close. Uh, maybe I guess you don't have to live close to him, though. You do a large field, you do this for sure? Oh, shoot. Um, yeah, I like this setup. I don't know how many of these we're going to need when we farm, like, the whole map, but. You guys want a little bit of, this is what you want? What do you guys set this to, like, 75 or something? Is this too wide? Does seem too weird? Bouncy. Well, we're on plow ground, I guess. 560? <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Years ago, it was his plan. Oh no, Ken! I didn't know that, Chad. I guess I didn't actually know. I thought you were in Illinois. I guess I thought it's where you were from. Yeah, that's pretty much how I look all the time. I'm looking around. It looks like Elizabeth. I changed those names. I don't know why. It's still. I don't know. It's frustrating. Can you turn this seat? Probably gotta have simple ice. I think I have simple ice, you know. I don't know how this is enjoyable. Well, there's Watchdog. How are you? I like seeing everything that's going on. I like seeing the dirt getting worked up. The roller leaving that nice smooth finish. Huh?
Now you can definitely do the skip pass thing, but we never really, I never really skipped past this when I ran a cultivator. Just because you're taking 30 foot in, you had plenty of room to uh, make that pass, make that turn. Nope, Northwest Iowa. I know you're in Illinois, Scooter. Yeah, it did seem a bit back squatch at 75. Oops. Hopefully that feels smooth out after working it. Why well, shoot? Yeah, smoothing out. We got that big heavy roller on the back there, ELR 22. Uh, in cab makes me sick. <laughs> well, why do you want me to go <laughs> in cab for you, big silly? Guess where I am? Mm, Kentucky. I think you're in Kentucky, all right, Watchdog? Building a big battery plant in Kentucky. What should we drill with? So we put the drill on the, what would be a good drilling tractor? Oh, I know what I was going to do. I know what I was going to do. I was going to sell that little itty bitty drill, but maybe not. I was going to buy the fake farmers bigger drill, this one. Which one? You're in Kentucky. I already knew you're in Kentucky. Yeah. Watchdog is in the Kentuckys. Carrie Grand. Dan? You're in Alabama? Are you guys planting down in Alabama? Planting some, what, peanuts, cotton, corn, maybe? I don't know that you plant a lot of soybeans down that way, but maybe. Of course, somehow the white ended up on this end, right? Wow. Exhausting. I probably left it to uh, Miles this time. He screwed the pooch on it. Whoop, got a TSC commercial. Do I usually chisel plow in the spring? Um, really depends. No, the best thing to do is chisel in the fall so it lays uh, through the fall or the winter and it uh, frosts and thaws and it'll mellow your ground out. But with the amount of manure that I haul and other people in this area haul, there, there are quite a few people that do chisel in the spring. It's a little more tricky because you don't want to go deep and bring that mud up. Like you just, but you still want to go deep enough to do what you're doing. It, it's kind of a wash. I mean, it, it's kind of a hard situation. I prefer to do it in the fall. Hey, Levi, Sony, how are you? Yeah, so... And there are guys now that are even starting to chisel, and they're even kind of doing something more like this. They'll run like a one pass across the chisel ground in the fall. Kind of get her all mellowed out. And then the spring, they only got to come back and hit it once. Most times, I like to hit it at least twice in the spring. Really get it smoothed out. Especially the corn. Because you want that, you know, corn's so expensive to buy and plant. You want to have the best seed bed you can have. So I always like to hit it at least two times in the spring. Oh. Oh. There are people that do chisel in the spring, though. I mean, if you're hauling a bunch of manure, yeah, they'll chisel in the spring. We chisel all the time. Yeah, I know. I even talked years ago about... So you can haul in the winter on ground all winter long. As long as there's... I forget, like, four inches of growth or two inches of, like, grass or whatever. Like, I was talking about putting... Um, ah... Clover down because clover can gain you some nitrogen or uh, you know for putting corn out 
So I've thought about putting it out like when I have beans, like going when the beans start to die and kind of like uh, top dress it in. But I know talking to like my agronom agronomagus, they were saying like um, you could do that, but then if it you work it up in the spring, plow it under, you run the chance of yeah running the ground dry basically because you just worked out all your moisture. But it, you know in a wet year it wouldn't be so bad. So I don't know. I never did it. You could just spray it and no-till into it, but. If I'm putting corn on, I want that. I want a nice seed bed there. Is this running some s weird? No. Maybe let's back this down just a little bit. Seems like we're overlapping a little bit. If you're not drying your ground out right now, can almost kayak the fields. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit moist around here. You are right. Slim, how are you tonight? Chisel in the fall and VT in the spring, but cultivate in the spring. Yeah, every place is a little different. Squatch, corn ground mellow and smooth, so planting units ride were nice. Yeah. Hey, see you later, Kenworth guy. Yeah, I would agree with you, Doug. Uh, with the corn, you definitely want best circumstances you can get, for sure, for sure. Almost seems like me like the rollers a little bit more one way than another. You definitely too moist, uh, Jay Graham. Yeah, I think ELR. What did we get like three inches probably the last couple days? Yeah, I would agree with that too, Chad. It definitely does seem to get a little cloudy, and I think it's just because you're bringing that mud up in the spring. I don't even tend to run my cultivator that deep in the spring. I mean. You know, a cultivator's not going to go as deep as a plow or, or a chisel or anything. But, yeah, I don't like to get too carried away even with the field cultivator. Three just yesterday. Oh, three just yesterday? Five in the last week. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you like this sim station? And I fixed it. It's shh. Well, I don't know how it'll do together. Uh, I fixed the AI so that the cultivator would run all by itself. Three morel mushrooms already? Ooh. Yeah, two, I think, um, the guys I've helped, they've got like the Accudep the John Deere Accudep and I think we only would ever go like I think like the second pass we always dropped it just a little bit more than the first pass and I want to say we ran like 275 maybe never more than like three I don't think we ever ran three inches or more I want to say like the first pass we hit it like two and a quarter and then the second pass we hit it like 275 I want to say that's what we ran, but I, I could be wrong. It's been a while. Now, mine, you just drop her down until she feels good. Hit, put the cylinder stops in place and call her a day. Morels? Yeah, not bad. Is it getting... Yeah, I guess the dandelions are out today, so morel hunting would be probably a go around here, even. Let me get it out. This is what we got 150 total. Holy smokes. Doug says where we flood irrigated out here. We like to plow in the fall then in the spring time we land plane then hit it with a cultivator and drag or packer. Yeah, I would say everybody around here. If they're going to no, I guess not. Because people are starting to VT and do stuff like that. But the way I do things chisel or plow usually in the fall. Then I'd run like an outfit like this. Not maybe a packer. I have just a rolling basket. Double rolling basket. I would hit that two times on it in the spring. That's that's kind of how I want to do things. No, not much anymore because not many people are putting hay out. Uh, you know, you really want to get her smoothed down for the hay. 
Oh shoot, we're gonna get into that field. Uh, that's where the Packers come in nice. They really do a good job of beating down those clods. If you're gonna make a hay field, so you're gonna run over a bunch. That's a good reason to use this Packer. But we're a dairy farm, so you know we we're just using it because we got it. You got Packers like this everywhere around here. Yeah, everybody runs a rolling basket around here. But that could be because well, yeah, Brilliant's not around here. J and M's literally like out close to us. Everybody runs something like this, but uh, not one. They run more like the. I thought I had rolling baskets in here. Yeah, something like this. Um, who else made rolling bat? Oh, there's J and M ones. I don't have it in here. I need to get those. Who made the J and M rolling baskets for farm sim? Right? Wasn't there a set of J&M ones that came out? Yeah, Nathan. I mean, there's a lot of rolling baskets around here. There are packers, but mostly rolling baskets. Yeah, more baskets, yeah. But, yeah, there are people with pack packers, yeah, for sure. I guess this is a this is a called a packer. Oh, I don't think I have that other thing in here. I was trying to get Scooter to fix the AI, but he didn't fix my AI. But anyhow, yeah, I don't have it in here. The brilliant that Attican released. I don't know why I cannot get that thing to continue. Oh, you see me use it last week on Stone Valley. Stone Valley. Uh. There are some of those, maybe not quite that big, but old Caldwell Maltry, yeah, probably like an old 12 footer or something, right, Kale, Kaler Farms. Hey, thanks, thanks for coming back, Bullfrog. Yeah, Nardius, I, I might, I probably will. I'll make some short ones, maybe some shorts or um, maybe just some short videos. I might even do like maybe a little intro video type ordeal. I don't know. Let's see if this guy will turn around on his own. Let's see what he does. He's going to mess up at the other end. I, I don't think I did this setup together with this tractor. I had it on the John Deere four-wheel drives. See, I'm afraid that he'll want to jump the ditch. And Here we go. She's a monster, 14 and a half. Yeah, I've ran one of those a lot. I remember putting one of those on a... Uh, and it might have been 16 foot at most. On a 4320, and I did kind of like a long waterway. Oh, man, I was working that thing. That was a lot. See, that's what I was worried about. Yep, that's what I was worried about. Oh, golly. If the road were going right over it. Are you talking about my stone driveway? Shoot, yeah, we're going to dig that puppy up. How many people like to use the GPS over the VCA vehicle control add-on? I like GPS better, but I know a lot of people use VCA. Uh, I like headlands, and the only reason I didn't work my headlands was because the guy was still chiseling. But I could put some headlands on here. End rows, headlands, end passes. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. I'm wondering if Lego's still in here. Or if he if he dipped out on me. He might be streaming already on Twitch. I don't know why I like 
going in this twitch. It's so much fun. The Fender has been in them. Benny's been in them. It's a black. Taz has been in them. We missed you, Benny. We definitely missed you. Torque mode? Oh, yeah. He running. Sorry, I was kind of. Yeah, we just run right on the railroad track, Squatch. This is realism. Realism channel. I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, it's a party. It's a freaking party over there. Music's popping. Uh, we got some good videos popping in every once in a while. Not that you get to see them, but you get to hear them and you know what's going on. I mean, just good times roll. We got the Betty Lou, Evelyn, Devlin stories going on. Plot twists all on the stream. So, yeah, Stim, like, I think if you ask Lego, I was probably in there, like, three, four times last night. Like, I fell asleep with it going. Uh, my little boy fell asleep with th to the sound of Lego. Like, it was just... It just goes on forever, and it's just great. But then he's going to start farming and stuff. Then he's not going to do it anymore. And we're going to get into We're going to have to drill that wheat tomorrow. Am I going to still be okay drilling wheat tomorrow? Because I, I think we're getting tired of watching me go back and forth. Is this aren't we, or no? Oh, we can drill wheat in November yet. Shoot, we got time. What did Benny say? Betty Lou is the most interesting woman in the world. She's a, she's got a story behind her, don't she, Benny? They don't even know all the stories we were talking about today with her. Alright, let's park that rig. Let's go grab the white. Let's go uh, see if I can do this. How did he... I think there's a way to do it, right? Uh, third person, yeah. So if you're over in a Lego stream, this is what you get whenever he's running. Ooh, I don't think you're going to be able to... I think you got to, like, double-click it or something. There we go. And this is what you see all the time. He doesn't tab. That guy's got the crazy legs. Happy feet. What Fender say? I fell asleep playing Stone Valley and plowed a straight line across the map until I tried to craft it. <laughs> There you go. Fire up, old girl. Alright, here we go. Oh, I fall asleep all the time, yeah. I just... Like I said earlier, my phone has died two times watching a Lego stream. Look at this little gem. Hmm? Oh, yeah. What do we gotta do now? Drake some hay? Usain Bolt? No, you should see uh, Usain, Usain, however you wanna say it. Uh, Lego run, man. It's like. He's running fast. Where I live, we sow in May and harvest in October. So in me. I got gotcha. you. Alright, let's get this guy. Let's put this rake back over here where I'm going to forget about it. Usain Bolt. There's some cow, them steers that are going to get moved down to the other farm. Let go of the. I wrecked right in my field tank. Chat's distracting for me. His prize bull got out and is headed towards the river. <laughs> you always guys got something good going on. I always love reading the chat. I'm glad you guys just don't sit there idly and let me just mumble on about randomness. 
She's a bit nutty. Look at that rig. Oh boy. Wish I had all kinds of time. We'd be running that. Yep. I think if I'd have set it up with the course play, it'd be okay. Oh, Waylon's leaving? Oh, shoot. I missed it. Oh, I wasn't first. Dang it. Good night, buddy. We all got to say good night to Waylon. That's our, that's our duties. Got to make sure he gets there. Diesel's leaking all over my driveway. Yep. I know. I didn't. I totally missed it. How could I? How dare me? I'm just trying to line my GPS up. Okay, R, yep, there we, what? Oh. Huh, that's interesting. Oh, then we got good night, good night, good night, and then we got a Lego with a GN. Oh my. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this. There we go. That's that's a bit faster, Harry. Yep, I forgot. I didn't even tell him that, Jay Graham. You're right. Make sure you listen to your mom. Make sure you brush your teeth. I hope you already did your homework. Oh yeah, this thing stupid wide. I need to bring it back in. Oh, uh, let's see. About one click on the old now that's that seems a bit excessive. Yeah, there we go. That seems that seems gooder. Much gooder. There we go. I'm happy with that now. Mm-hmm. That looks better. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Dad used to get me after me all the time to be careful around the fuel tanks <laughs> with the tractor oh my <laughs> pressured him right into it Fender you made Lego go back and give him a proper send off for the evening I tell you what, Waylon's got a—he's got a long day in front of him. That kid is in a lot of streams. We got to get him in a Lego stream. That's what we need. We need to get him in a Lego stream. He would be ruined for life, wouldn't he? <laughs> trying to finish on the Portland. <laughs> oh, trying to finish on the Portland. Whoa! It's too busy laughing. Now that kid, I don't know, he's in so many streams, it's unbelievable. So Kayla, you actually hit one of them off of the blocks. Oh. Tish, tish. So everybody, I think if we can get, if Taz and I can get Sim Station talk to and do it, I think we're going to try to do a little multiplayer. He kind of talked about it last night, but maybe a little multiplayer on uh, Medicine Creek. It'll be me and Taz, uh, Sim Station, ELR, LR. 
I think the four of us are going to try to manage a farm on Madison Creek. So, I don't know how much content teams. Yeah, I think all together, Benny. I think it's just we're going to try it all together. Otherwise, when you do, everybody has their own farms. And then one guy doesn't get on. And then you're waiting on to bale the hay or to, you know, combine or something. I think we're going to just try to all manage one farm. But it might be kind of cool because, like, right now, a guy could be out here baling. Uh, even chopping will be kind of neat. Combining. You know, you could be combining guys to be working ground at the same time. Halt driving truck. I think it's going to work out better just to do one farm. Collab. Oh, yeah. Definitely a collab. The rest of them. No, no. No, Benny. We're going to do a little bit of a divide or do this, but I think it's going to be funner if we just all kind of farm together. Maybe we could stay in some of the older equipment for just a little while longer. Just because there will be so many of us. Kind of pass the field work around. Like maybe use some smaller equipment at first maybe. Taz wants to stack bales manually in the sheds. So I don't know. I mean it's going to be on... I don't know, it's on whenever Sim Station busy guy gets there all set up, but yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to it. We're making quick work of this field, aren't we? Or no? Yeah, yeah, I think we are. <laughs> Farming with horses? Yeah, probably not that far. <laughs> oh, I want my stinking mouse. The mouse always falls off my chair seat, or my armrest. I'm just curious to see uh, what the Sim Stations had going on on uh, his Alma save lately. Haven't seen much. He's been pretty busy. Usually he keeps me inspirated to beat him, basically. As well, Benny, old school. Maybe a GoPro version. I thought that was my job. Oh, the GoPro thing? Yeah, your video has been hitting pretty good, uh, Fender. Very much impressed. Like, my live streams don't even do that good. And they're full, they're packed full of shenanigans. But I guess they're also hours long compared to a video. Does the Canadian map, does uh, Bloomfield, does it have a lot of extra crop types and whatnot? A? I didn't use A right there, did I? Is that bad? These windrows look nice and straight, A. Eh? This white's a heck of a tractor, eh? Is that how I use it? Is that better? Dang! No extra cops all, eh? At all, eh? Do you have to, like, raise your voice? Like, eh? Or is it more like down? Like, eh?
24 hour stream, Benny? Are you mad? The only way I could do that is if I did it with Lego, because he, you know, he's already done a 17 hour. He can go like three days without eating, so he probably could get me inspired to do it, but I'll be a lot. Base game with a heavy customized crop calendar. Would you like a hot dish, A? Eh? Or I have a hot dish for you, A? Eh? No, that doesn't that. I'm just butchering it at this point. I was hoping Lego would come in and cr oh, there he is. It's not. No, it's not Fonzie, eh? <laughs> I'm still the silly American. If I say A, hey, the locals from <laughs> Uh You haven't earned their trust yet to be able to say A. Hey? The Fonz. A. Hey! It's like the pan pan situation. I won't say any more than that. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Uh, you think you. I think I could help with the pan pan situation. Oh, that'd be great. Oh, it's pan with a D on the end. No, there's no D. Panned. Anybody? Anybody know what that's off of? The Canadians drink milk in bags, eh? No, no one on the pan pan situation? Classic movie. Benny, maybe a little bit too classic for you. Lego? Ah! Ding, 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 ding. Okay, the tuxedo shirts were funny at first, but not so funny now. Is that onion dip I smell? It's definitely onion dip. I think I've seen that movie like 852 times a year for the last 10 years. Benny, you gotta watch something other than a western. You need to watch Austin Powers, Step Brothers, Talladega Nights, all the classics. Shoot, we're going to have to make us hay tomorrow. What about license and registrations, eh? No, that's, that doesn't seem right either. Uh, I think he was telling you you need to watch Knocked Up. Right, Lego, I think you were saying? It's the Catalina Wine Mixer. I just want to plant one of these in your suck hole. Is there anything I can do about that? No. Oh, okay. It's the freaking Catalina wine mixer. Right, meow. Ain't so funny meow, is it? Uh, Benny, if you've never seen... Uh, oh, shoot. What's that movie? What's the movie with Will Smith, Martin Lawrence? Bad Boys. Go watch Bad Boys. One, two, three. Watch them. Say it isn't so. Sweet baby Jesus. I was thinking another movie. What was another classic one? We were talking about another movie the other night, Lego. I forget what movie we were talking about. Oh, there's so many. What's everybody using for a rake like this? Like, I like this rake, but I don't like this rake, if you know what I mean. It's not real American, but what is it, what's everybody using? There's a cougar in the car. Well, I know there's a cougar in the car. I'm the one that put it there. We better get out of here. Frank's going to be pissed. Ah, I swear I could feel a road turning right. Half-baked, not bad. 
No, that's not a bad movie either. I can't quote that movie. I don't know anything about that movie. Uh, I mean, I've seen it. I've seen it, but I don't. Uh, old School, good movie. You can watch Old School. Even the old, like, Vacation with Chevy Chase and all that movies. The other guys, yeah, that's a good movie too, Jeremiah. Anchorman. You're my boy, Blue. We're going streaking. Frank, get in the car. No, we're going streaking. Who's we? Everybody, they're coming. Frank, there ain't nobody. Yeah, yeah, they're still coming. Classic. It was just on the other week. Doug Barber. And you didn't have to. I appreciate it. The 1999 Doug says, Awesome stream, Pleasant. I'm laughing my butt off up in here. Well, I'm here. I'm here trying to fill the void of, you know, some of you guys used to watch Big Rig Frosty. He was a heck of a comedian. Kept everybody laughing. I'm just trying to fill the void. Tomcats, Caddyshack. Yeah, Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison. The price is wrong. I don't know how many words I can say on not getting in trouble. <laughs> cold out right oh that is true he's sitting in the car and he's sitting there he's like let's get some taco bell cold out tonight frank the girls are all like laughing at him yeah very much appreciated doug thank you so much mr deeds yeah mr deeds is good very very sneaky yeah what are some good movies what are the other ones you guys all like these are all good movies we're just raking hay, chatting on some good movies. Big Daddy, Joe Dierte. Yeah, Joe Dierte. Don't try to dress it up, boy. Your dad named you Dirt. Nothing happened, I swear. Uh, even newer movies like uh, Grown Ups, Good Grown Ups. Mr. Deeds, how about Movie Outsiders? I don't, I never ever watched Movie Outsiders. Doing a great job. Did you used to watch uh, Frosty, Doug, or no? Hip Hop Autonomous. Friday's a good one. Yeah. Damn. Guys, got him. I actually, I don't know how old you are, Benny, but I just assumed you're a little bit younger than the rest of us. You ain't first, you're last. Ricky Bobby, shake and bake. If there's a deluxe, or I forget what he says. He's talking about like the first time shake and bake, and he's like, if there's something coming from your tailpipe, it's a little bit of shake and bake. All I want you to do is say, I love crepes. Nope, I won't do it. Oh man, I actually do like crepes. Anger management. Super Troopers. Oh yeah, I think we've been talking about Super Troopers for a long time. Little Nicky. Yeah, Little Nicky. Um, Dumb and Dumber. That's also another pro tip uh, on raking hay. Do the insides, then do your outside rows. See how you can get that nice, clean, fresh look. A pleasant pro tip. Ooh, that one I didn't get quite in there. Deep in, uh, Left a little bit there. Feel embarrassed. Thank you, baby G. <laughs> uh, spider monkey. 
Dang, that thing come at me like a spider monkey. Orland the Dark One Gaming. How? Howdy doody. Liar, liar. Yeah, liar, liar is good. Pro tips with the pleasant. Me, myself, and Irene. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier with them shooting the cow. Ah, I swear it moved. Then when he's trying to take the piss the next morning, he's like, I turned my back one time and you take advantage of me. Oh, it's such a good movie. His boys are... Yeah, and then he's like... Were they cutting the sausage or whatever? Oh, man, that's a good movie. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got time to bail this yet? You guys got time? You guys got something going on? Yeah, always finish with the Andros. Always finish with the Andros. Slap their nipples right off. Yeah, he did used to say that all the time. Joe and Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah, I've seen that. What do you guys want to do? Want to bail some? Oh, we got the bail. No, we got the TM190 on the bailer. Slap though. I don't have all the crazy stuff like he. Which I'm not saying crazy in a bad way. He always had like the. Look in the upper right hand corner. Look at our money going up. Or hit those poo slinging slime or uh, emojis and stuff. I'd love to have some of that stuff. Wonder if he would. Ah, I doubt he would send that to me. He might not even have it anymore. But Cause I think somebody like made him the emote, them emotes and stuff. Hey, Caleb. Hangover. Yeah, hangover was a good one. Um, ta what's the little. Mr. Chow? Yeah, Mr. Chow. Oh, I forgot we're in third person. Woo! Here we go. Let's check these bowls. Trying to blind him. So he doesn't. Whoa, he looked at me. Get out of here. Alright, let's get in the TM. It's about 6, 5, let's see, 12. Five o'clock at night. Dodgeball. Can't dodge a wrench. If you dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Five D's to dodgeball. Dodge, dip, dive. No, dodge. What are the five D's? I know it's dodge twice. Dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. I think. Who remembers? Wedding Crashers, classic. Owen Will and Vince Vaughn, they had a lot of classic movies together. Look at that nice smooth feel. That baby's smooth. Let's just take a... Whew, that baby's... That baby's smooth. Yes, sir. That's ready for some wheat. Rule 32. I remember watching Meet the Fucker. I don't know that part of it. Scooty Pooty. Yeah. Everybody's classics movies. Alright, Benny. Hopefully you wrote all those down. Your assignment over the weekend. Watch them all. All of them. A boy named Sue. We're the Millers. Yeah, that's a newer movie. Uh, dude, where's my car? Whoa, hey, -o, we got Sim Station rolling in as a new channel member. Yeah, I would definitely probably generally bail these last, but we're just going to bail them first. What a rebel. Thank you, Mr. Simulation Station, for becoming a pleasantier. Pleasantette? Pleasant peep. Pleasant pheasant? Maybe there's just something better out there. Pleasant peeps? Pleasant millionaire? You know, because if you're watching the own the map, you 
Gotta be feeling like a millionaire. I don't even remember what kind of width we had on that white. Let's just take a peek at that white quick. What's the width on that? Should tell us quick. We missed the white? Oh, there we go. They don't know what a rake in. 2665. Okay. So now if we make the Baylor tractor 2665, it should go right down the rows. See what I'm after? Guys mopping up what I'm spilling. Oop. Oop. Oh, we can't achieve it. Oh, yeah, maybe we can. There we go. Hey, oh. Thank you, though, SimStation, for becoming a YouTube channel member. Oh, and then he gifted 10? Oh, hey, I was too busy doing my other stuff. Open it up. It's me, Dave, Dave, not here. Yeah. He gave one to Kaler Farms, Ken Sh Strouder. I'm gonna mur I'm gonna be terrible at these names. Olin, the Dark One, Paul Hudson, Jason Austin, Eric Selt, John Grander, Ryan Stevens, No, Operator 85, all getting gifted subs from the Simulation Station. He says, spreading the love, buddy. Well, I appreciate it. Oh, I'm on the PC? Daggum. The Big Lebowski? I never watched that movie. Yeah, Doug, I can make this pickup have a... The widest pickup you want on it. Ain't too hard. Someone else said that earlier. Oh, you gotta stay on the road, though. And that, that helps usually. That usually helps. You can't be reading the chat when you don't have the auto drive engaged. Fling shot engaged. I'd say if you're gonna watch one movie over the weekend, Benny. Watch. Watch, uh... Talladega Nights. That's a classic. Borat's a good movie. Spaceballs is a good movie. More Balin. Can't wait to be doing some more bailing. Gotta get these end rows picked up. Oh boy. Swinging. Oh man, we missed some. That's a big bailer. We're getting out at night. So we're bailing a little bit with the toughness. Uh, you know, like you get that night dew, which is gonna keep the leaves on our alfalfa even though this is just grass we're gonna pretend because this is farming simulator and we're all pretending anyway so but we're going after that high quality feed there we go GPS engage shoot yeah he is he's ready for multiplayer I can I can fix you one up. Nectar of the gut. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh gosh, guys. Let's raise that header up. Let's pick that up real quick. We got a bale in the way. 
Let's just mash him out. Oh, realism. Realism. Right, Lego? Lego, what time's the stream starting tonight? Here in about uh, a few minutes or what? He's got a three day worth of streaming going on. Tomb soon. How's it going? It's going good. We're just picking it. We're just making some bales. This actually isn't a bad setup here either. I like the T7 on here a little bit better, but this is actually not a bad setup either. I do like the sound of this rig. It's a solid rig. Oop. Some. This is our oldest hay field here, fellas. So we, can we get it there? Yeah. Half hour? Okay, yeah, I gotta. I'll be I need get ready for bedtime. I need to pull a Waylon. Get yourself away from Mountain Boo. Yeah, I can't. I don't drink pop. Gets me all a headache and stuff. <laughs> I'll be there though, Lego. Everybody who's here who wants to enjoy this funness well it's on twitch that's the thing you gotta be on the twitch which ain't hard um there's good music good laughs it's gonna go on all night it's gonna be a party stop drinking sodas yeah but anyhow yeah we can all head over to the lego stream i gotta get out of here got the little guy waking up so I do appreciate uh, you Doug and uh, SimStation for gifting all them subs somebody else got it, became a member who else became a member Eric or something no whoever I forget but I appreciate all you guys we'll probably do a Stone Valley maybe this weekend so be looking for that not sure when but we'll try to sneak it in too so i appreciate you guys all for watching we'll see you guys on the next one remember i'm working on that hog building so i don't know how quick that'll be out but so enjoy your weekend and we'll catch you guys on the next one